Okay, let's talk about these two different guitars here for a bit. A little bit about that one maybe also. So the Obstructures is new. Um, I got it because I wanted to know what the whole deal is with the Obstructures guitars because I have a number of other uh, aluminum neck EGC uh, guitars. The Obstructures um, is really cool, um, but to be honest, um, the playability of it is less than these guys. Um, the sound, these pickups in this are awesome. I don't, I don't really know which pickups these are, but the pickups in this are just the standard AVRI 65, whatever vintage 65 pickups. I really like those. And the ones in the baritone in the background there are the uh, EGC JM 500s, which are basically a variant of what would be in the other ones of this. Anyways, this one is a weird uh, humbucker in a wide range single coil of some sort. Not the typical obstructures uh, pickups. Now, uh, this one has like a, a dead flat fretboard radius. Uh, these two are super flat, but not dead flat. They're actually very much more comfortable to play. That's when it comes down to it, um, I get m all of the benefits of the aluminum neck, not so much the aluminum, um, you know, the pickups being attached directly to the plate that runs all the way through. Don't have that on these, these are bolt on necks. But the, the feel of the neck um, on these is, I mean, that's as much as I want out of something. And as good as this feels and as good as that sounds, um, I kind of feel like I already got it covered. Like it's pretty, I was playing with it for a while and this, I could definitely make it work, but it's also uh, superfluous compared to what I already have. Yeah, and not forgetting the, the biggest thing is I like having um, a whammy bar on mine uh this obviously doesn't have anything like that so uh i feel like i can make a lot more noise especially when you get it like feedback s s squeals and things much easier to make noise with a tremolo bar so that's it